years ago, Kara and I had the opportunity to go on an extended vacation. Mariah was about six months old at that time, so the trip was pretty easy. We had been very busy leading up to the vacation, so I was looking forward to some time to relax. We were in a condo at the beach in March, so it wasn't crowded at all. While there, I got to spend hours each day for a couple of weeks doing something I find extremely relaxing. Putting together puzzles. Now, I don't like those ridiculously large puzzles. I saw one in a store that week that was 28,000 pieces. No thanks. For me, 500 to 1,000 is about my puzzle sweet spot. I don't remember now, but I believe it was about five or six puzzles that I got to put together over those days. It was really one of the most relaxing times of my life. I'm not completely sure why I love putting puzzles together so much, but one aspect that I enjoy is that every problem has a simple answer. I have a piece. I just need to find the one which goes next to it out of the hundreds of pieces. Now, you start with the outside edges. And that knocks out about 20% or so of the puzzle pieces. Then, you begin to separate them out. You get the dominant parts of the image, you put those together, you get everything else grouped, and you begin just plugging them in. Eventually, you get to the random pieces that are a little bit harder, but you've eliminated so many options that at that point, it doesn't really matter. Simple problems, simple solutions. And every answer is right in front of you. Life isn't always so easy. Problems are more complicated. Answers don't come so quickly. Sometimes they feel as if they'll never come or that they don't even exist. We want the answer to be right in front of our face, and when it's not there, we can struggle. I tell people often, I don't know the answer to that problem, but God does, and he will let me know when I need to know. It's easy to say, but it can be hard to live. Scripture helps us with this in a simple description of Christ in Colossians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Christ is completely God. We are complete in him. He has the power over even the hidden things of this world. He has the answers. If life is puzzling you today, know the answer is right there. It's right in front of you. You may not be able to see it, but because of Christ, you are promised that every piece of life's puzzle will come together for you. You are complete in him. I'm Larry Wright, and this has been a message in a minute.